Hello again, everybody. This is Steve coming to you with the March 2024 writing update. <coughs> um, and apologies to anybody that doesn't like the Rambo Bunny. <coughs> it's March. Easter's coming. I just thought it would be kind of a humorous uh, play on that to have a Rambo Bunny uh, for this year. So apologies if that offends anybody, but I thought you guys would like it. Anyhow, um, this is... Uh, four-part writing update and I got some interesting news for you guys so I'll get right to that uh, first part is my conversion of my Smashwords account to draft to digital is now complete for those of you don't, that don't know uh, draft to digital bought Smashwords uh, to you know, the two of them are our uh, ebook uh, the two of them are ebook distributors and they each do things a little bit differently and it, it was like a couple years ago 2022 I think it was that they merged uh, so that everything publishing wise shifting to draft to digital uh but draft to digital and smashwords are, are keeping their stores as they are and smashwords can now focus strictly on just selling books and not having to do the author side of things so that's kind of the the tldr of that uh i, I had been waiting since 20 or june 2022 for my account to get converted everybody else had theirs converted it was super easy uh, so I thought you know, nothing was happening. So I finally got a hold of them, and turns out it was a stupid language setting on one book that held that up for a year and a half. So, anyways, that all that aside, uh, it's solved. It's you know, I mean, I wish they would have told me that that's what it was, but yeah, it's it solved. So we're all good to go. That's all in motion now. Uh, which leads me to point two that this is good news in the fact that. I can now take advantage of draft to digitals print services. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do each of these books one by one by one. It's going to be a slow process. You know, I'm not going to be able to just run out there and, you know, throw all my books at them and, and say, Hey, uh, you know, publish all of these and put them in print and I'm all ready to go and everything. No, it print, Print is a lot more drawn out process than ebooks. Ebooks is actually really, really simple, but the, the downside is only about 15% of the market actually reads ebooks. So, you know, that's really kneecapped me for a long time that I couldn't get out into print. And I've kind of, I've kind of discussed reasons why it's, you know, it was, it was some things happening in my life and some other things that were just blocking me from having print books. It's one reason I pulled back from print books and I have so few of them that I have. Uh, some of that is also Amazon's fault. Uh, because Amazon has been an absolute nightmare to work with, which is ironic because other people have absolutely no problems with them. Me, I've never had any good experience with them. It's been a constant nightmare, one right after another after another. So I don't know. It's just a mileage. Your mileage may vary thing. I don't know. But now it's, you know, now that's draft to digital's problem. <laughs> I don't have to deal with it anymore. My friend doesn't have to deal with it anymore. So that's good. Um, Now, now I have, or now I just uh, need to work on getting them out there. And I'm going to start with uh, what I consider a low impact series, uh, Land of the Lions. Uh, start with book one, Lion in the Wind. And I call it low impact because it's uh, the least read of my series. And that's mostly my fault, uh, just because I have not done the marketing on that series like I did with the other ones. And the other ones kind of marketed themselves, I guess, because uh, Land of the Lions is kind of sci-fi uh, sci fantasy, more fantasy than sci-fi. The sci-fi part is the fact that the MCs are androids, which that may also be a bit of a turnoff for some people, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that series has the, the lowest readership, so to me it's the lowest impact by going through those four books first and using them to iron out all the bugs in the publishing process so that when I get to Earthfleet, which would be the next series... Uh, I can go through all of those books and get those back out into print. Uh, there's still some remnants of my previous print uh, print endeavors out there on Amazon if you want to buy the print books. There's not many of them, but there are there are a few of them left out there. Uh, but those will eventually get back out into print. Uh, then I'm going to do Offworld Chronicles, and somewhere along the line I'll clean up other books like Jenna's Journey, which never got a print edition. Because uh, it came in after all of the print stuff stopped. And again, that was personal stuff that was happening that had forced me to pull back everything. Uh, some of that was my mom's dementia uh, and 
other things that were going on that literally forced me to pull back to doing just ebooks, minimal marketing, minimal anything. You know, I mean, I was literally pretty, you know, shut down for the most part for a period of about 10 years. Uh, but again, I've covered that in other, in other updates and discussions and stuff, so I won't go into the details on that and bore you guys. Uh, but the, anyways, that's all ironed out. All that's worked out. Stuff's starting to move forward again, and I'm heading back out into print. So uh, I don't know how long it'll be. I'm, I'm still waiting for draft to digital. I have a three-week hiatus that they told me I had to follow. I'm on week three. Uh, the three weeks was just part of the conversion process. So once that's done, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the print process and go through all of the macerations of that to get the books out there uh, and get them out there in print where you guys want them. So anyways, uh, point three, I'm making changes in my YouTube and Rumble channels. Now don't freak out. <laughs> uh, this is going to be positive changes. Uh, the the primary reason is, is the listenership on the two channels is not the same which kind of surprised me i figured you know regardless of where i went it would all be the same and it's not uh i've noticed that on the youtube channel most of what people want is the entertainment side so they want the, they want the audiobooks they want the uh you know the the listener the reader side of things whereas on rumble i'm noticing that people are more interested in the writers side of things so what I've got, what I've decided to do for right now, and this may change more in the future. It depends on what you guys show me that you like and you don't like. And view counts and likes go a long ways towards that. Uh, you know, and I'm not like begging. Trust me. I'm just saying that that helps me know what you guys like more. If you like it, view it. Uh, you know, view the. You know, even if you only listen for a couple of minutes, go in, view the video. If you really like it, like the video. That way, I know more of what you're looking for so anyways uh long story short youtube is going to focus primarily on more of my uh personal things like i'm starting to add my dreams uh prophetic dreams if you haven't already seen those show up uh i don't have a lot of those so i'm probably not going to do a lot of those but i might be doing some other fun stuff on there too uh and I'm going to be doing, you know, my short stories. I'm going to be doing longer stories. I'll be doing other things that are reader focused. On Rumble, the majority of the people seem to prefer the writer's stuff. The intro to writing, things to work on, how to work with your worlds, your super worlds, all that stuff. That seems to be the main draw over there. So I'm basically taking all of my writing stuff and shifting it over to Rumble. And keeping just the reader's focus stuff over here. Now, Rumble will still have the reader focused stuff like the short stories and things, but most of that's going to be focused on YouTube. Uh, and again, the t that's that's the primary divergence that, you know, at this point in time, the only ch you know only major change is that the writing stuff is going to be exclusively on Rumble. Uh, later on, it might shift, and I might move some things off of Rumble just to YouTube. Uh, but you know, for right now, that the writer stuff is the first primary move I'm doing uh, you know and again it's it this isn't and, it, and let me show you here real quick what I'm talking about okay this is today's update well today as in Wednesday this video probably won't come out until Saturday but uh, this is today's video for uh, on T you know on uh, writing that was posted on Rumble. In 13 hours, I got 16 views, which is outstanding considering I only have 11 subscribers over there. This one, though, come on, you. Okay, do this the hard way. That's YouTube in the same time frame. 13 hours, zero views. To me, that automatically tells me, you guys on YouTube, don't care about the writing stuff as far as being a writer and improving your craft and all that stuff that that's what that tells me uh, now when it comes to the other stuff that's my latest short story point Kate part one of the Pirate Kings gold uh, mini series uh, there's gonna be three parts to it I want they'll be coming out the next two Fridays I want you guys to listen to them and and like and comment and tell me what you think of it uh, I'm not one for writing pirate adventures but you know I decided to go give it a spin, and I, so I created a, th a three-part short story, and I want to see what you guys think of it, because my primary uh, 
bread and butter for writing is sci-fi. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to spread out into other genres. It's like the other stuff I've already posted. If you guys want to go back and look at those, uh, Ferret's Folly, that was a pure, pure fantasy novel, or short story. Uh, Esca, uh, Elevations, that was kind of a, a fun sci-fi, uh, sci-fi-ish uh, short story. You know, and, and I like to experiment with different genres. So if you go through all of my other short stories... Uh, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. Did I do a good job? Did I not do a good job? Uh, did I do an okay job? Here's where I could do better, stuff like that. Your feedback is helpful to me to make me a better writer, and the better writer I become, the better uh, the stories I can give to you, and the more you know, and the better stories you get to read and enjoy, and things like that. So, you know, it it benefits me, but it also benefits you guys in the long run. So please watch the other videos, and I'm not, you know, I'm not view begging. I'm honestly saying, you know, watch the videos. We're really technically listen to them because they're just, it's a boilerplate like you see here. Uh, and then you're just listening to the audiobook. And again, sorry about the AI, but that's all I can afford right now. I'm not, you know, I'm one of those uh, starving artists, if you can, you know, <laughs> you know, for lack of a better term here. But uh, anyways, that same video over on Rumble only got seven views. So again, think about this. There was 62 views on YouTube, seven on Rumble. But if you go back to the other one, I had 16 views, which, you know, that's not a big shock to me that it's only 16 views because not a lot of people are gonna wanna learn how to be a better writer. The number of viewers for entertainment are gonna be always be greater than the number of viewers for something practical like writing. So, you know, to me, those, those view numbers are fine. Uh, but yeah, that, that right there tells me that the primary interest, there is some interest in those short stories over in Rumble, which is why they're staying over there. Uh, but the primary interest for the short stories is on YouTube. And the primary interest for the readership is on Rumble, or the readership, uh, learning to be a better writer, I should say. So that's why the primary change. And again, as viewership changes and desires change and peop what people want changes, I'll adjust the two channels. But yeah, they're going to diverge a bit over time just based on who wants what and how they want it and what they want and so forth so anyways uh onwards to point four uh point four is reader feedback uh i've really appreciated all the feedback you guys have given me i i really have um it's always encouraging to me even you know even those of you that that snark and bark at me i appreciate those because you know that you know, I'll, now some of it's just, you know, Karen's being jealous and doing their thing. But, you know, there's other people that are providing some really good feedback. You know, they're asking me questions. They're uh, saying, hey, this worked really well. This didn't and stuff. Because that helps me become a better writer. And like, I've, like I said earlier, me becoming a better writer means you get better stories, which means you get, you know, more entertaining stories and fun stories and qu high quality stories to enjoy. So, you know, your feedback helps me, which then helps you guys, and you know, benefits both of us, and I really appreciate it. Now, some of the stuff that's uh, specifically process and procedure has gone into the writing musings. That's kind of what those are. Is that's if it's not something that's a whole topic, like my regular writing or intro to writing videos, uh, those go in as like little piecemeal bits that get done into or get done up into the uh, writing musings. The uh, you know, the stuff that's like whole topics end up as intro to writing, but the writing musings good are the smaller stuff. That includes your feedback. Uh, you know, and if I don't, if it if it's something that, you know, you comment to me, I'll comment directly back to you, like email or via YouTube or Rumble or wherever. Wherever you comment or DM or whatever, I will respond back personally. And I will, you know, I will answer your questions as best I can. Uh, if it's something I think is, is uh, applicable to the wider audience as well, as long as you don't disagree, uh, I will typically throw it into one of the writing musings so that everybody can benefit from your question, uh, which, you know, that question can, pro you know, the question you ask may be applicable just to you. And if it is, I don't, I will not, you know, br uh, break your privacy and put it up on one of those musings. If it's something that you're okay with, and I think it, you know, I think it would benefit the wider audience, yeah, I'm going to put it in one of the writing musings so all of you can learn. Because there's questions that they, that they will have, or that you, uh, each of you will have that, uh, you know, if I share it with you, it's something that you will personally benefit from. You will come away a better person 
with greater knowledge, uh, maybe a better writer if you're a writer. Uh, if you're just a reader who's curious about something, you know, it's that's, uh, you know, something that... Because if it's a question you have, a lot of other people might have it, you know, like, you know, why is this... Uh, and I'm being facetious here, but it's like, why is this slime pink instead of green? You know, or why is your Starship got uh, warp drive instead of uh, linear hyperdrive or something like that? You know, th those are beneficial because, you know, if they, if one person has asked it, there's probably a lot of other people who have the same question that haven't asked. So I will include those. Now, like I say, if it's specific to uh, the process of writing, that will go in the writing musings. If it's something that is not specific to writing, will probably go into the writing updates or they'll go into their own videos uh, just so I can answer the questions and answer the question publicly. Uh, for, well, I'll answer it privately first, but then I can answer it publicly if you're okay with that. And I will uh, share it with everyone else so that, you know, for the people that have that question and didn't ask it, you know, they can, they can learn from that. And uh, then, you know, that'll answer their questions and they'll make them happier and everything will, uh, or everyone will be happier. So anyways, uh, you know, like I say before, please, please don't be afraid to, to comment. I mean, you know, unless you're some jealous hyper Karen that, you know, <laughs> I mean, everybody just gotta look at you and go, nah, ignore them. But <laughs> no, if, if you got a good question, you know, don't, don't think you're bothering me by asking it. I'm happy to hear from you guys. I, I really appreciate it. I love interacting with you guys. So anyways, uh, yeah, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, uh, uh, rage quit moments, <laughs> things like that, please let me know. I am happy to hear from you guys. So as always, thanks.